little bit. Towards the wood? No, I went forward that way. <laughs> But it'll work for now. Six foot wide window. Since I'm a rookie, and not an actual contractor, I kind of mock up my walls, at least when they're this big with this many windows. I mock them up so that I know how much space I have. These are six foot wide windows. These beams are six foot six. I've got to put two jack studs underneath each side so it narrows it down to six foot. So I've got to get my kickers and my, or my kings and my jacks as they put them all in place to make sure I have enough room for that bolt plate down there at the bottom. I built this wall upside down, well upside down from the normal walls that I've been building for a reason because I can't get my backhoe in to this area as easy. I've got my big stacks of OSB there and my backhoe didn't like to move those the first time when I offloaded them from the trailer so I really, I'm just going to leave them there until I start using them. But I think I can sneak my backhoe in between them and kind of pick this side up. So I made the top of the wall over there. I'll pick that straight up and the bottom will kind of swing in underneath it and I'll set it in place. A little bit different from the way I've been doing the walls. I've been doing the walls with the tops of the walls inside here and you just reach over with the backhoe and tilt them up and then kind of maneuver them in place, jack them around. But to show you what I've got going here, <clears throat> this is a six foot wide window and a six foot wide window. This window over here was supposed to be six foot wide, but as it turned out, with the three foot door that's right next to it, just like that window over there, there's not enough room in the wall. Even with an architect and an engineer going through these plans and drawing them out, 
they still drew for a six foot window, a three foot door, all the King and Jack studs, and there's not enough room. I don't know how they do their job and miss all that, but it is the way it is. That window I believe is five and a half feet wide instead of six. That's a three foot door down there. I believe that's a 32 inch door and a five and a half foot wide window. There's a little bit more space on the wall over there than there is on this side. So what I'm looking at right now as I'm mocking this up is to make sure I have enough space. I've got bolts. That's the top of the wall. I've got bolt holes that can't get covered up by the king studs or the jack studs. And there's gonna be four over here. And you can see the hole down there. That's perfectly fine. There's a hole here in the middle of the window. That's fine. Another hole in the middle of the window. That's fine. Come all the way down here. The amount of space that's up there, we're gonna measure out and make sure I can put a washer and a nut on top of that bolt that comes through that hole. The last king set on that end is nailed in, so that won't move. And I've got all these packed up really tight. So over to here, to the outside edge is just over 10 inches. It's 10 inches and a, and a 16th. So we'll get down to the other end and see if we have enough room for this washer to fit over top of that bolt. So we've got 10 and a 16th marked right there. I'm gonna take this and draw a happy little line pretty close. That bolt plate's gonna fit on there just fine. That worked out pretty good. This wall and the master bedroom wall down there, I had to shorten that window up. Both those windows are supposed to be six foot long. It's not a big deal. I made sure and I made the window on this end and the window on that end basically the same size. I say basically, probably within a quarter inch. So there'll be the same size window there as it is down there. We won't be ordering windows that are one inch different and trying to figure out which window goes where. I wanna try and keep the majority of the windows or as many as I can the same size. So I have two that are five and a half and now I have two that are six. Now if this wouldn't have worked out, I would have taken both the headers out and I would have shortened them by an inch or two depending so that both these windows would still be the same size. I do have these bolts coming through the, this base plate right underneath the window. How this is gonna work is we're gonna tighten these these nuts down here and then we're going to cut this off flush and ping it so it can't loosen up. Then we're going to take a piece of two, two by six just like this only bigger hole and we're going to set it right over the top of that and nail it in so that there's nothing sticking up on the top and then the window will sit right on top of this. I'm going to take these little space holder studs out and get the proper size studs put in there. Get this wall finished up We'll get out here in the morning and tilt it up. Till next time guys, go make something.